What do gender roles, sex, and relationships all have in common? Find out today on the Proust Guide to Intimacy. Like this? Intimacy. Yeah. What's up, people? Welcome back. Do it through a text message. You can do it through an email. And what is consent even? Welcome back to the Proust Guide to Intimacy. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Amanda. Make sure that you take the time to subscribe and sign up for notifications before you leave my channel on today. So today we're going to talk about gender roles, sex, and relationships. So at the beginning I asked, what do all these things have in common? Well, for me, what they all have in common is that they're all related and intertwined to one another. And today we're going to talk about how. So for those of you who don't know, gender roles are basically the map that we're giving, given as we grow up, telling us how we should act based off of our biological sex and our assigned gender at birth which is usually male or female. What gender roles does essentially is they set us up for how we think that we should act as a person. So for men, they're taught to be tough and to never show emotion. So one example of that being is with little boys, as they grow up, they're always taught that they shouldn't cry when they are hurting or when they feel a certain emotion or even show things like joy. And what happens when they get older is that when they get in relationships or they have children of their own, they become emotionally unavailable because of what they have been taught as it pertains to their gender. And with women, what we always get with women is that they should be delicate, soft. Women should never be too assertive. They should always be understanding or we expect women to be timid. And what happens with that is with women, when they get in relationships, sometimes they are overly understanding. They end up giving multiple chances. And that also leads to them setting up boundaries that they ultimately end up not keeping because they are trying to fit this role of being understanding and being nurturing to their partner. Gender roles can also affect our expectations of our partners. Because society has told us what men and women should do, we expect our partners to do these things all the time in our relationships. So it's important to think about how society's expectations of certain genders has maybe clouded your judgment and how it has affected your relationship and how you are as a partner. And gender roles also affect how we act in our sex lives and how we see other people in their sex lives. So for women, we always talk about women not seeking out sex, being the ones that are approached. And this usually leads to women not being assertive in the bedroom, or it may lead to a woman not exploring her sexuality on her own. So when she is with a partner, she speaks up about what she likes and what she doesn't like. A lot of women are leading unsatisfied sex lives because of this. Also with men, they may feel like they have to be super assertive in the bedroom and be a showboat, which leads to them not paying attention to what their partner wants um, or not paying attention to if their partner is actually enjoying the sex that they are having together because it's not a show. It's supposed to be about bonding and enjoying your time together. This can also lead to men thinking that they have to have a lot of experience because the world has said that men are supposed to get out there, sow their royal oats, and get all of this experience before they find the one. So before you call somebody a prude, a pillow princess, or think they just aren't paying attention to you in the bedroom, think about how society has told them that they should be as a man or a woman, especially in cisgender heterosexual situations. We are the ones who are most likely to subscribe to gender norms and expectations. So that's all I have for you today on the Proust Guide to Intimacy. Make sure that you subscribe and sign up for notifications so that every Thursday you're always ready to go. See you next time. And for women, gender roles can lead to them doing something. <laughs> um, when, da, da, da.